in action. Like, don't like. Like, don't like. Let's get some results. <laughs> trash, trash. So part two of the Goodwill New Hampshire Bins haul. I have a lot of great stuff here. I'm wicked excited about this stuff and let's get started. So I'm gonna bring this big pile over here. Oh. So I basically have like mostly tops and then like some other dresses and other stuff. And let me tell you, I hit the J. Crew jackpot. Or maybe not jackpot, but okay, wait, that one's not J. Crew. <laughs> I definitely found at least one, two, three. I found someone's like entire J. Crew wardrobe. They were like, just throw it out. Just, just throw it out. So, <laughs> found three pieces of J. Crew cashmere. So the first one is, uh, unfortunately, this is all extra small and small too. So, nothing for me. But I actually grabbed an express sweater that was the same color, and I was like, well, it's kind of a cool color for fall. But ugh, express, I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna bother with it. And then I grabbed this one, thinking it was the same sweater, but like a second one. And then I looked at it and I was like, this is J. Crew Cashmere. This is, this is, like, I don't think this has been washed, worn, used, anything. All three of these cashmere pieces. So, that is number one. And I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna put these outside on a hanger and let them get some fresh air and sun. They don't smell gross, they're not dirty. And I'm not going to wash cashmere, so that is what it is. Of course, this is like a funky color, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's bright. It's cool. Someone with the right style will wear this and it will look awesome. So this is the second one, bright neon green. And the third one is right here. I really like this mock neck style. Yeah, this one's, yeah, this one's extra small too. And this one's bright pink. I mean, this one is so cool. I love this one. So, there we go. Those three. And then, in addition to that, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same person, because they were all kind of, like, wrapped up into each other, so I think there had probably been, like, in a bag or whatever, and the bag just got opened. And we have one, two, that one's not it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight J. Crew tops. And these are all just like basic. They're either long sleeve, well, all of them but one are basic. They're like long sleeve tops. And then there's this one, is absolutely gorgeous. This is, I, oh, I thought it had like a name, but this is a button has a little button front and this is just absolutely beautiful like if this was my size I would be keeping this a hundred percent but I mean it, it looks absolutely brand new like I don't see any anything wrong with it It has a side zipper I checked the, I checked the zipper on this one and it's totally fine I mean it, if there's something on camera you can see I can't but just amazing and then one two <laughs> Two more long sleeve shirts and two short sleeve shirts. This um, navy one does have a stain on it, so I'll wash this one. I think it might have happened, like, wait, I saw a stain on it. Oh, maybe it was just, like, what? Oh, no, yeah, there's a little, like, stain. I'm thinking it might have even happened, like, while I was there. Um, but they're all, like, these perfect fit basic tops. I don't remember keeping this one, but this is an express... 111 like this is just kind of maybe I thought it was part of that J. Crew bunch because I probably wouldn't have grabbed this but I don't know I don't know if this color looks good on me maybe I'll keep it but it's just a like kind of loose tee uh, my sister found this one I really like this for the print and this is a 1x it has this really pretty like bird and nature print on it I like that one uh, I bought 
this more for the style too. Some stuff I grab for style just going into fall. And this is a like kind of washed out striped long sleeve button down by the brand On The Bias. I feel like this might be an Urban Outfitters brand. I think I've heard it before, but I'm just not sure. But again, from what I see, great condition. This is olive and oak. I kind of specifically told my sister not to grab things that like they would sell at TJ Maxx. And then she was like, don't they sell that at TJ Maxx? I was like, yes, they do. But <laughs> I thought this would be a good one. So it's really nice. I don't see any holes or anything on that. This is a Hillary Radley, size large. It's a gray ribbed. I looked this up. Um, I forget what it's called now, but it has like a faux kind of undershirt here. That was really nice. A really like good weight to it too. And then I got a shacket. So it has the inside quilted lining. It's by the brand Style Knit Sportswear. This is definitely probably a men's, but I'm going to sell it as like a woman's jacket. Cool fall orange colors. Um, this one I might end up keeping for myself because it has a little flaw. It's by the brand Pointiel. Pointiel. I'm thinking is Anthro. But right down here, it has this um, little thread came out. So I could probably fix that, which would be good enough for me. But I don't know if I'd want to sell it with my repair because it looks like, like some of the stitching came out. So that, and this is pretty good. I like that style. On myself, I got this Banana Republic. Like, this is like a heavy, it's not quite terry, it's almost like, I don't know what to describe this as, but it's just kind of like this really cool, like, sweater top. That's an extra small. And then this is the Wonder Wink top that goes with the pants. Figs, um, I mean the scrub top. And then I did get a figs too. So it's just a blue top. I think these look like they're going for about $20 on Poshmark. So, and this is an extra large. You know, I like those bigger sizes. And I got a few men's pieces. A Lacoste sweater. It's just regular blue with a little alligator. And it's pretty dirty, but it looks in good condition. Or great condition, honestly. Two Under Armour pieces, just a sleeveless top, and a short sleeve kind of mock neck top. And this one is a, this one's a big size, I think. That, oh, well, this is an XL. This is another piece I'm hoping to sell on Depop. <laughs> it's really funky, and it's just this geometric blue, purple, and yellow print. Short sleeve button down. It's, um... Batik Indonesia HDS, size large, and it has uh, shoulder pads. Find anything good? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Jake Crew, Lemon. Really? Awesome. Good stuff. How about you? You got a whole trunk there. Yeah. Got some cool things. I got this Life is Good long sleeve top. It has a flower on it. It's kind of like little heart. Yeah, it's little hearts. Like, I think they're supposed to be seeds, like blowing away. And this was in really, really good. Like, this is in like new condition. That's the only reason why I picked this up. Otherwise, it's kind of like a. You know, probably fifteen dollar thing. Uh, American Eagle, extra small, small. This is a chenille type sweater. Like it's that really soft knit. Um, 
well, it's not really fabric because it's knit, but it's just a really soft material and it's nice, big, and oversized. So lots of fall pieces I grabbed, except for this really, <laughs> or not some of these ones. Some, some. I mean, I tried to get a lot of fall stuff, right? Abercrombie and Fitch. This is one of their like classic style button downs. Very basic, size small. I don't even know, is that men's or women's? I think it's women's. I don't know why I got this. <laughs> well, I do know why, but I, that I didn't like really evaluate it. Um, I thought my husband might like this, but it's a size medium, so it's he needs a large at least, so I don't know, but whatever, it's kind of funky and cool. It's just Urban Outfitters, but it's got two cans on it, so it's bright. This one my sister found, it's by the brand Denim and Flower, um, Ricky Singa. So that's like a kind of moderate brand, uh, it says Happy Holidays on it because it's all woodland creatures, well deers, but it's like the woods with little log cabins and stuff. And J. Jill, size extra large. I really like this sweater. It's a cool geometric print, but also it has a little kangaroo pocket. So I thought that was nice. Alright, so this is the last bit. Ah! Toppling over. <laughs> there was a lot, um, like the Agnes and Dora that I mentioned in the last video, that there was just a lot of it, like maybe a boutique like got rid of their stuff. There was a lot of this brand, Piffany, 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 so this was new with tags, and it's a cardigan, well, not a cardigan, but it's a hooded, like, you know, little sweater, but it has these long, long, <laughs> uh, wrappy things, so you wear it, and then I guess you wrap it around yourself, somehow. It's actually really soft. I like that but it's kind of like a ribbed fabric. Just really cool. Like, a lot of the stuff that was this brand was very basic, like just a pink cardigan or, you know, a t-shirt, but this was a little bit more interesting, at least. Actually, I have no idea how I'm going to photograph this. I'm going to have to put this on a body form or find a photo, but <laughs> it was at least a little bit different. And then I got this. Oh baby maternity jacket it just needs like a little like it just needs to be kind of like pill like pick the pills off a little bit but it's a down I don't know if it's real down um, no it's not real down but it's it's a filled jacket and it's missing the belt but I can't imagine that's you know, gonna hold me back from selling it for a good price. But there we go. Now I got these two. I'm excited about these. I initially bought these because I'm planning on going to Plato's Closet soon, and I know they're looking for bodysuits. But what I didn't realize when I picked these up was that I'm not going to be giving these to Plato's Closet because they are Commando, which is a great brand. And these have sold on Poshmark. I saw a few comps some were low but then some were like $68 so I think they originally sell for over a hundred so it's the brand Commando and this is a just faux snake skin with you know the little bodysuit bottom and yeah I already showed those okay and a navy blue one and they're both size small again I don't think anyone's ever worn these <laughs> Whoever had them was not feeling it, but if they were my size, I'd be feeling it. All right, next up, this Torrid dress. This is a Torrid size one. It's just like a little ditzy print of blue flowers on yellow. I know this is very bright and summery. However, I recognize that not everyone lives in the tundra like I do, so, <laughs> so I grabbed this. Don't see a single thing wrong with it. I also grabbed this dress. It's the brand Oh My Gauze, Florida. 
and it's a very basic black. I actually didn't, I was, I thought about putting it back because I was like, how am I going to photograph this? Cause it's so freaking long. It has like this very cool, um, slightly ruffled skirt. I did see that brand on Poshmark for comps like maybe like $30, but I didn't like look specifically for like that dress. I I've got another commando piece. This is a medium large. I think this is called a debutante slip. It's just basically a long slip. And these were selling for about comps were like between like 50 and 80. So that was a really cool. This is another plus size piece. It's uh, JMS, just my size. Fall print. That was basically why I picked it up. I think my sister found this one, but yeah, it's just like a a line long sleeve dress. What do I want to say for last? I mean, I don't know if I have anything too exciting left. Maybe I'll save these dresses for last. So this is the uh, Lululemon little sports bra that I found. <laughs> Guys, this is so tiny. This is like, I really think this is for kids. I don't know. It's so small. But, um, it says it's a size 4. Yeah, I found the little, I found the tag inside there, size 4. But I will have to, what does that say? Oh, it has like a number around it. I don't know, I've never found Lululemon before. So, I have to do some research on that. Oh, I think this was meant to be in my sweater pile. But this is a Zara Knit Chenille sweater beautiful orange color lovely by Adriana Papali dress I actually have a wedding to go to on Saturday so I'm gonna wash this one and try it on see if I like it I kind of like the top of the well it's way too long for me so maybe not but I do like the top cut of it like the way it's cut like this it's pretty it's just kind of basic black with the lace insert I have been selling some dresses though so that's cool. This one, I picked this up pretty much because it's and other stories. I didn't have time to look at a stock photo. I'm sure they make it look a lot cuter than it does all crumpled and wrinkled up like this. It's like this geometric kind of print. Like, I don't know, this is birdhouses and I don't know. It reminds me of the late 80s, early 90s, but it I'm definitely going to have to try and find the stock photo to like figure out what this is supposed to look like. I think it's like a wrap dress too. I have no idea. I hope it's not missing something. Well, there's like a button here. Oh, it is missing a belt. Of course it is. But there's like a little snap here. I got to figure out how this goes. But I don't know. It's funky. I figured someone would want funky. I got this Capizio. This is like a dancing brand. Just a bodysuit. Probably like maybe goes like a costume type thing. This is another plus size dress. Emma and Michelle 2X. Very fall. A nice like swing dress with almost long sleeves. Liked this one. Oh my god, I'm getting so hungry barely eaten today. This L.L. Bean bathing suit. And then I only got two, two more, yeah. This is a loft dress, size large. This is like, kinda, this is weird. I thought it looked like leopard print, but it's definitely flowers. But I feel like it's flowers meant to look like leopard print, if that makes sense. <laughs> so it's just kinda your basic dress. And it's like a, a gray blue color with the black flower cheetah print, leopard print. All right, and the last thing is We the Free dress. Well, this is kind of like a layering piece. It has these massive slits in the side that go all the way up, so I don't think this is supposed to be a dress, but. Maybe you wear it over like some jeans or shorts or leggings or whatever. And it's just like a nice breezy 
floaty little piece. And this is a size extra small. Everything's extra small. <laughs> but this would honestly fit me. Because it's like, has a huge wide open back. So, that's everything. There you go. The way she walks. <laughs> Let her hide up. So you guys like this video I'd love to know what your favorite item was that I got and oh oh I almost forgot the receipts I gotta tell you what I spent so the first round I bought 30 pounds and it was $44.70 and the second round I bought 35 pounds and it was $52.15 and so it came out to about $92 and I think I got at least 85 pieces of clothing and shoes. I need to do like a better count of everything and I will put it up on the screen right here. My total and my cost of goods. Okay. Total number of pieces I bought and cost of goods. <laughs> so that was a really cool trip. It was my first time. I loved it. I will definitely go back. And I'm going to get listing all the stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!